What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you hear me growl, I have Tourette syndrome and I can't control it. Hopefully it doesn't bother you that much. If you're already subscribed, you guys know I appreciate you so much. Let's get into it. This is your 2022 updated season of the plunder divinity guide. This will take you through step by step. This will be the most comprehensive, concise, easiest possible guide for you to follow to be able to pick this up. You want to head over to Sorrow's Harbor on the moon and you're going to go follow this path and you're going to find a secret enemy that doesn't spawn unless you clear out an area. So you have to go here and you probably wouldn't have even known it was there because by the time you kill these enemies, the majority of the time you go through the portal. So follow this way and you're going to lead your way over there and then you're going to kill these guys, clear it out, and then you're going to end up killing the enemy and it's going to drop it for you. It's going to drop it for them. By the way, guys, as you can see in my chat, I just put this in here just so you see the reason I started running. They banned me from using my Sparrow for five minutes, so I had to run, unfortunately. So I'm going to speed this clip up, but I wanted you to see if you think I'm wasting time. I'm not. I unfortunately just couldn't use my Sparrow. So I'm going to speed this up for you so you don't have to wait. I'm fast as boy. Still fast as boy. Come get up. <laughs> <laughs> so as you make your way down, then you're gonna obviously probably be on your sparrow i would assume it's a lot faster especially if you have the always on time things insane but after you kill these waves just keep killing them at this portal until this boss spawns and once you kill him then the orb will drop or the engram will drop as you can see divine fragmentation they're both going to pick that up that's going to start the divinity quest i can't see it or pick it up so they're going to do it now we're going to head over to artifacts edge there's going to be three hidden oracles in these lost sectors. I'm going to take you through every single one, show you exactly where it is, how to get there, what you have to do to pick it up. This will be, like I said, exactly what you need to do. Like, you can follow this to a T. You uh, should have no problems doing it because I'm going to show every single thing. I'm going to do it as short as possible. Unfortunately, it is a fairly long quest. There's a lot of stuff you have to do, including the raid and everything but I'm going to try to slow this down or I just say speed this up but do it in a slower fashion so you guys can like follow it or any beginner casual new light or anybody who forgot can do it as you see this Oracle unauthorized access that's because there's an enemy that spawns. see he just spawned right there once you kill that enemy then you can go up and interact with it that's gonna give you your first one it didn't pop up on my screen because I'm not doing it unfortunately but it did pop up for them so once they told me that they both were able to get the next step now we move back to the artifacts edge and I'm gonna speed this up we're gonna go the other way I'm gonna speed it up a little so that you don't have to waste too much time as I said I'm gonna try to save as much time as I can wherever I can but I also want to lead you the exact way so anybody is able to follow this guide so you make your way over to the next lost sector and as you're making your way through you don't actually have to like go all the way to the end but there are a couple enemies that you have to kill over here or it might be one of the bosses that'll spawn right next to it um like there was in the first one when that minotaur spawned and you had to kill so right here in the middle right around this rock that's going to be the second one if you can't interact with it just kill the boss or kill the enemies around it or whatever just make sure and then for the final one you got to go over to the cistern and then you're just going to follow this way to the final law sector to the final oracle that you have to activate i'm going to once again speed this up a bit so that you don't have to waste all this time like i said this is a bit of a longer quest guys you know i try to make all my videos as short as possible so follow this way to the next law sector guys actually on that note if you're new to the channel and you like this content you enjoy it at any part of the video or it helps you at all and you can hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification it really helps me out you don't want to miss out on an upload anytime you guys will subscribe if you enjoy it it pushes my videos out to the algorithm and it really helps me and the channel out so i really appreciate it it's completely free to do so if you could do that and if for some reason you want to unsubscribe later on tell me my content sucks in the comments that's perfectly fine i accept it after you activated that third uh oracle by the way I would suggest coming back to the same place you started the quest because you're going to have to get 120 of a material that dropped from Vex. And we did this two more times, only two times total, and it dropped. So it gave them all their 120 and they were done with that. Unfortunately, when this first came out, Vex Offensive was in the game. It was super easy to just go in there and do it in like a run or less. Uh, after you do that and you collect 120, you're going to come over to the Sanctuary by Eris and you're going to go to the Lectern of enchantment and when you're there you have to 
use the lectern and then you're gonna get the last piece which divine fragmentation pops up for them and then after that you're gonna have to go into the raid the garden of salvation now's where the hard part really starts so right after you go into the raid and you make your way through the portal you're gonna come to this part and you want to fall off the back of the ledge and there's gonna be this hole in the wall so you want to come through here and one of the people that has the quest or that's doing the divinity has to make sure that they hit this and activate it so then that thing the text on the bottom will pop up and show and then you know that you have started it only one person needs to hit it you both don't need to hit it now when you're heading up these stairs before the first encounter you could go through these little holes there's one on both sides see somebody just went through that and they're going to lead down to these like underground or in the wall um like caverns and so you want people to be posted up on every platform so stagger like this one two and then three and then on the other side the same way i showed you in the first part and then you're going to connect this uh laser by shooting the first one that i showed and it's going to connect to everybody through it and then it's going to connect to the final one in that second room and then that's going to pop up that it's done so that's the first puzzle that's done you just post up everybody where i showed you then you make your way up and after you do the running part of this encounter after you get to the chest you're going to turn back around and you're going to drop down this hole now for this one i'm going to show you everybody's placement exactly how to do it and where to go so you don't have to like worry about it or try to figure it out right when you drop through the hole the first person is going to stay right there on this first one then you're going to go over through here make sure somebody stays in here don't everybody go down under this because once you do you can't get back out so one person is going to come in here and then one's going to stay up there and you're going to post him up right next to that hole in the wall and then another person is going to go after you posted up those three people you're going to go around to the other side and you're going to have somebody in this room now you're going to post up for through this hole and you're also going to see that corner in the wall where he is like you're going to have somebody else go on the other side of that so that it could connect through that wall and then the other one could go through the circle hole in the wall so this one's a little intricate but you will get it then once you go here you see you could have went outside but instead of going outside turn around and you come over here and you're going to have right next to this hole in the wall again as you see look it matches with the the gash in the wall and then the hole the circle hole and then after that that's the fifth person lined up so you're going to run outside and you're going to make your way to the final one the one that actually starts the chain and you're going to make your way as the sixth person you're going to stand where i'm going to show you and then you're going to shoot the the box and it's going to actually start the chain and then all six people are going to get linked through all the walls and then that's going to complete that puzzle and then you're going to be on to the next one this basically whole raid and this whole divinity quest is just a bunch of puzzles like this and you know some of them are kind of annoying but they're not very difficult to do especially if you just follow this guide as you saw everybody got connected because they all stayed where i put them and then that's done with that next once you come to this room you're going to want to come to this tree and <laughs> you don't have to shatter skate like that obviously you can still get divinity but if you want to you can but you come to this tree you just follow the pods around and you make your way here and then on this tree basically you're going to set it up like this you're going to have two people stay at the top over here right and then you're gonna have two people on the leaf over there right there and then you're gonna have the last one over on the far side right where he is and then me i'm gonna drop down i'm gonna activate it and you want to kind of get on this branch you got to be careful because you see how close it is if you get too close it'll it'll knock out so you got to kind of inch your way to start it and then as it connects to each one and then it connects to the two on top the second one on the top two that we held there will move farther down as you see he's down here and then the last person will move in closer and that will chain all of them together and then that will accept the puzzle that's definitely the easiest way to do that and then once you come to this way as you can see where everybody's positioned kind of on the outskirts you don't want to be really inside you want to push them out and have the other one to that side as you saw the cryptic came in after we got all five connected he was the last one so you have him push in to get connected and then he goes closer instead of around so that he could connect the full thing to all six of us and then as you see you guys just move in and you hit these diamonds and that completes that puzzle now this one's a bit tricky there's an easy way to do it i feel as you see you just get everybody close so you could all connect to it and there's a really easy way to do this where you could go over to the left and just walk right around but there will be exploding supplicants 
However, the way I like to do it, and I've done this a hundred times with people, you know, when we used to do Garden for Divinity, the way I do it is I get close and have everybody stand together. And basically I'll do a count of to three and I'll have the first platform and then the third platform. And I'll tell them how to do it. And when I count down to three, we jump to the first one, but I'll make sure that the second or the third one's coming down at the right time. So that's why I skipped that one. See the third one's coming down and I'll jump on this one. I counted them to three and then we'll jump to this one. And then we'll just jump to the end. It was very uncoordinated. That was the first time doing it. I've ever even done this with this team. And also two or three people had never did the raid before. It was very uncoordinated and we still did it first try. So if you can coordinate it, it's not hard to do and you don't have to deal with the supplicants this way. But if you're having an issue doing that, you can walk around the left and you'll just have to make sure you bait the supplicants to blow up and that'll be that. When you come to this part of the raid, look, if you stand on the edge, you can actually kind of cheese this and make your way up here and you don't even have to do any of the jumping or anything. You could literally just stand on the side of the windmill and you could ride your way all the way up. So it's a pretty sweet way to do it and save some time. Now we're over to the two final puzzles, okay? The last one is the worst, but I'll explain how I do that and I will show you how to do it and it will be a lot easier for you if you follow the way that I do it. Okay, for this one, it's pretty self-explanatory. As you see, there's no real turns or bends. It's pretty much just a straight line. Position everybody in a straight line from the box that I showed you over to here. And then you're gonna have somebody go up this tree. And then the final box that gets connected is gonna be right up here. And then you have the first person shoot it and it's gonna go right down the straight line to me. And then I'm gonna hit the box. It's gonna be that. That's gonna be that last one. And then the final one, so I do it this way. These plates, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I would put the least experienced people on one and six, okay? You're gonna line up in a uh, line by your plate. So one is one, first in line, second is second in line, third is third in line, and so on. And then you're gonna have everybody. Now listen, number one, watch the first box that started it. And number six, watch the second box behind me. And look, as you can see from the box, it shows one and six exactly where to go. So it's very easy for them. And then two and five can play off of one and six and you shouldn't have any issues. We still did. So I was actually, I was kind of yelling at the people to go where and we were able to complete it on like our fourth or fifth try. So it wasn't bad, but like if you see, so one should have gone to three because you can see from the box, it actually shows you like, look, six should be on six right there because from the box that puts me on two and then one should be on one because you can see from the box exactly where to go. So one and six really have it easy. So C6 was to four and one was to three because from the box you can see where it is. And then five and two can just play off of their line to six and one. By doing this, you will easily be able to complete this. It's a little confusing, it might be a little overwhelming, but I'm telling you now, follow this way that I do it, where one watches the first box, six watches the second box, two and five watch one and six, and then three and four just should follow from there. It's really not that difficult if you follow that way. Guys, after you finish the boss, you're gonna come down here, I'll show you, they'll claim it. This whole thing was done. I was doing two carries for people that have never even done garden. That's why this was on uh, during a stream and everything. As you can see, they're gonna pick up Divinity. That's it. This is the best guide, I guarantee it. If you have any questions, by the way, guys, I'm gonna be doing more carries for Divinity. So if you're interested in getting it, the Twitch will be in the description. Make sure you head over there and follow it and let me know you're trying to get it or go into the Discord and post there. I'll find out when I'm going live in there also. So I will be doing more carries for Divinity and more Garden Salvation and more everything, honestly. I play with viewers all the time. So I would definitely check out the Twitch or the Discord and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys over there. That's pretty much gonna do it for this uh, video, guys. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on an upload. It really helps me out, guys. I do Destiny content daily, every single day. I do info, tips, tricks, opinions, guides, walkers, whatever you think, I do it. All right, so that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like and subscribe.